What is going on guys? I hope you are ready for an insane card that is hitting the TCG in a few days at the 19th of October. We now have the rarity for the Super Star Slayer Typhoon Sky Crisis. Crazy card name here. So this should be an ultra rare, which this is super, super interesting. Um, of course we are, and I've talked about this in the video before, where I talked about the SNP Little Knight, which will probably be a secret rare, a Quenta, a Quenta Sorcery, no. So, Central Quartery, no, uh, Quarter Century, Secret Rare, so crazy pronunciation there for a German guy. Uh, but this will probably be an ultra rare meaning that a lot of decks want to run or will want to run this card because it's easy to make we read about over the card in a moment um, but this means that it could be not that expensive or could not become that expensive i have already predicted the s p little knight to go something like 100 euros because it will be a secret rare and therefore pretty rare to be drawn from the pack uh, this will be very interesting because age of overlord is definitely the set at the moment that is the strongest from this year this is a trend that we have seen in previous years where the latest sets in the years or the sets that come out later in the year are the stronger ones so it seems to be the case here also the sets before this set um dueling uh, dueling nexus and um what was the other one? Cyberstorm Access especially didn't really have a lot of amazing cards, but this set has the Diabelle Star engine, has the Horus engine, has the Typhon Sky Crisis, and then also the SP Little Knight. So, two new really staple cards for the extra deck that you can run basically everywhere but yeah ultra rare so i'm very excited to see how expensive this will be i'm guessing this will be around a 30 40 50 ish card um, keep in mind though that you will probably only play one of this so that's basically what is saving this card what could also save save SP little knight from being super expensive that you don't need three of them in every deck so you will basically need one super star slayer i think let's read the card together the anti zeus as it or as it, it is also called and um we will see why, but it obviously has the look like Zeus. It's a level 12 XYZ monster, dark. So, although Zeus, Zeus is light, right? So it looks like Zeus, um, but the dark side of it, let's let's read it. I think it's, it's such a cool looking card with quite a neat effect. During the turn or after, or during the turn or turn after your opponent special summoned two or more monsters from the extra deck. So this is the condition here, which is pretty easy to match just imagine your opponent going a first turn and then he summons two cards from the extra deck doesn't seem that crazy you can also xyz summon this card by using one monster you control with the highest attack your choice of tight so first of all making this monster is really easy you just have to use your monster with the highest attack which can basically be any monster you can use a trash monster that you can normally summon and then just overlay this for the superstar slayer so really easy to make but you have to keep the following thing in mind. If you do, you cannot normal or special summon monsters for the rest of this turn. So you would need to basically play your your whole turn before you go for the Super Star Slayer. So this is basically a card that you want to to build in the end or at the end of um, of breaking your opponent's board if you want to do that. Keep in mind though that um, you can also. Um, Oh no, you can't. I was thinking about you could oh you could attack with this guy. Um, just make the guy attack with the guy and then overlay this for Zeus. But uh, you can't because if you do, you cannot normal summon a special summon for the rest of this turn. Okay, you can't you can't do that. So you will basically have to do this at the end of everything else that you have planned. Um, and then while this X Y Z summon monster is on the field, neither player can activate the effects of monsters with 3k or more attack. And then also once per turn, you can detach raw material from this card. Keep in mind this probably will have one material. You can also, of course, make it with an XYZ monster that maybe has already materials if it is the monster with the highest attack. Um, but I think most of the time you will make this or overlay this over a normal monster. So this will only have one um, material then. But you can detach one material from this card and then you can bounce a monster. So pretty nice. Uh, pr the effect and what this card can do just for being able to being overlaid onto a monster, th that's, that's the important thing, right? This card is as strong as it is because you can make it that easy even if this condition here is quite hard um 
you can always make this on at the end of your turn to make it harder for your opponent to play the game. And it's called the anti-Zeus, of course, because your opponent cannot use Zeus when this is car card is on the field because Zeus has 3000 attack. And this card is only 2-9. Keep in mind that you're also limiting your own monsters with uh, 3000 or more attack. So that's something that you always have to keep in mind, of course. And then you also have a bounce. So a super easy to make big monster, at least this is a 2900 beat stick. Um, but this this also disenables a lot of your opponent's plays, um, though we also have to keep in mind that a lot of decks are not playing these big 3000 extra deck monsters, but yeah, you can disable your opponent's Zeus, but obviously your opponent can keep this in mind and if for example he has a Zeus and you are starting to building your board into his Zeus then probably he will use the Zeus at some point to just destroy your board before you before the board gets out of control right so you would not wait for example let's say you are playing against Rika and your opponent starts building his Rika board and you have a Zeus then you will not wait before, until he has done everything that he wants to do every interruption has has been set up and then you go and uh, and be like okay now I want to Zeus but then he overlays the last summon for the superstar slayer and you are like oh damn I missed my Zeus timing of course you will use your Zeus way earlier so it remains to be seen how strong this will be in really like disabling a Zeus because I think Zeus will be used way before a superstars there will come down but nevertheless this is a really strong card is it as strong as Zeus is as impactful as is Zeus I don't think so to be honest um, because it's a bit more like the range of 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 how this card can be used is a bit more tight than is Zeus's range. Zeus is a really a nice board clear um, that you can use to break a board. This one you can't use to break a board. This one you can use to um, defend your board. This is more of a defense card, also indicated by the fact that you can bounce something. Which is quite nice, right? This 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 is more of a shield that protects your build board from being broken again. Keep in mind, though, that you cannot summon this on your first turn because, um, same with Zeus, because you can't attack on your first turn and your opponent has not special summoned monsters from the extra deck on your first turn. Um, he could have, if he has tier elements, then obviously that could have been the case, but otherwise you will not be able to do this on your first turn. So you will most likely try to break your opponent's board on your first turn so the second turn of the game and if you succeed you can then just use your last remaining normal monster that is not really like valuable that you have left on your field and just overlay this for the superstar slayer <laughs> i like the i like the name superstar slayer typhoon sky crisis yeah it's it's the same with, with zeus they always have crazy names but come on guys the artwork is amazing i think the artwork is even better than a Zeus artwork, if you ask me. So I'm, I'm very excited for this card's animation once it comes to Master Duel, right? Um, yeah, the Superstar Slayer. So you will overlay him at the end of your board breaking turn just to make it harder for your opponent to break your board again so you are locking him out from his effects from the 3000 attack monsters from his extra deck and also you will get a bounce so a really really cool card definitely one of the um, most impactful extra deck stables that we have seen in, in, in a few years i want to say obviously not as impactful as is sp little knight um, but yeah it's nice that this will be an ultra rare we will have to see how the pull rates compared to the other ultra rares from the pack are and i'm really excited to see how the price will be for this card keep in mind that this for example the star slayer and also the smp little knight if you by the way don't know what i'm talking about smp little knight uh, the video is linked in the right corner here you can click on it go check that out um, keep in mind that they will not be reprinted until next year and not the start of next year but more to the end of next year we just recently have gotten the 25th anniversary tints where the cards from the year before so cards from darkwing blast for example were reprinted so until we see a reprint of uh, the uh, new cards there will be quite a time so age of overlord i think will be a booster set um which will remain very relevant for for a long time um it will be very relevant to open this for a long time um so really cool i'm really hyped looking forward to this let me know in the comments what you guys think of superstar slayer typhoon sky crisis and if you think that the i mean uh, I'm, in terms of how this guy looks it's just amazing let me know what you think of the guy if you like my videos please consider subscribing hitting the thumbs up and the notification bell this helps me out a lot and we will see each other in the next one